Hello, this is Bryant Myers, and welcome to another episode of Debunking Flat Earth. I'm really excited about this video because I want to share with you some of my favorite images that show the undeniable curvature of the Earth. And these images come from the Bonneville Salt Flats. And now, and if these images, which I think are really showing undeniable curvature, are not enough, at the very end, I'm going to share with you um, some measured values of Earth curvature taken at the Bonneville Salt Flats by Baron Rutledge and Jesse Kozlowski, which who are two uh, surveyors, and that's what they do for a living. So I'm, let's get right into it here. The Bonneville Salt Flats is about 30,000 acres, and it's, it's a dried up seabed that used to be an ancient Lake Bonneville. It's just kind of one of the natural wonders of the state of Utah. It's really, really a beautiful place. And this first image that we're looking at here showing the curvature was taken by amateur photographer Michelle Pilling, and just such a beautiful, when I saw this, it just kind of took my breath away. In fact, inspired me to do this video. Now, a lot of flat earthers use the salt flats as proof that the earth is flat. Yeah, when you look at it kind of without the aid of a telescopic camera, it just looks incredibly flat. See, one of the things that flat earthers do is they say that they want to use their natural senses. This comes from Robotham, who's kind of their godfather. Whether flat earthers know it or not, Samuel Robotham is kind of, with his zetetic astronomy, is kind of the source of a lot of this nonsense. You know, Eric Dubay's 200 proofs pretty much is a lot of it's coming from Robotham and, and Carpenter and some of that early stuff. And that's one of their big things is like flatters will go outside and says, well, it looks flat to me. I don't feel the earth moving. What flat earthers don't realize is that the eyes are not measuring devices. Okay, in fact, they're very poor measuring devices. So we need to use tools to actually to be able to see this curvature and to measure the rotation. So actually the salt flats provide a perfect place to, to actually test this, to see if indeed we can measure the curvature. Because again, it is just so level across the salt flats that it's literally hugging the curvature of the earth without any kind of terrain distortions. And, and because Highway 80 traverses the entire salt flats, when we show some of these images that show the obvious curvature, the highway is kind of a, it gives us a, an, an aid to see that. And so again, I, I just love these images. In fact, um, let's just look at them again. This one's from Dave Cook. Uh, in fact, it, I'm gonna show you a video footage of how he took this, but it just shows undeniable curvature. And as we showed this other one by Michelle Pilling. Now, in case you have any doubts, um, <laughs> The welcome sign to the Bonneville Salt Flats actually has, I, want, I kind of highlighted this here, um, it actually says, due to the curvature of the earth, it is impossible to see from one end of the course to the other. Okay, this is right on the sign. So, and, and, a, and a good testimony to this is that the Bonneville Speed Week, which is kind of a big deal because a lot of cars get together every year to try to break like world record speed tests because it's such a flat. Uh, flat surface to, to go really fast on. And, and, and actually during this Bonneville Speed Week, they actually have towers set up so that the officials can kind of see the cars racing in case, in case someone gets hurt. Because again, they're going really, really fast, over 400 miles an hour in many cases. And they cover this long distance that goes over the curve. So they have these towers set up to be able to see the cars. So now th these images seem very convincing to me. And now, but it's, it's good to have some healthy skepticism. So let's kind of look. I actually did a post on Flat Earth Friends, which is a popular Facebook uh, Flat Earth group. And it was a very popular post. I got a lot of interactions, a lot of comments. And I kind of weeded through them and found the, the three most common objections that Flat Earthers were bringing up. So let's go through them one by one here. The, the first objection was it's fake. I mean, I got that a couple times. They literally think this picture taken by Michelle Pilling was a fake. And again, I'll put a link below this video where you can see on her Flickr, her actual post of the image. And um, there's absolutely no evidence that it's fake. I mean, you can try to put it in photo forensics and see if you find anything. But if you're going to do that, you need to download the high resolution image from Flickr that she posted. And, and this is kind of Flat Earther's favorite, favorite objection, just fake, CGI, NASA. You know, they just don't, and that's all they'll say, it's fake. They don't provide any evidence. And it's not how, how it works, guys. You have to show us evidence if you're going to say it's fake. Or at least give us a reason why you think it's fake. And it can't, the reason can't just be, well, there's this flat. There's no way it could have a curve. <laughs> um, 
Objection number two was, well, that's just a hill. Well, no, it's not just a hill. In fact, the measured grade of the whole flat is about 0.02%. So tell me a hill that's 0.02%. And um, if you think that that's a hill, you need to get your brain examined. So the only reason it kind of looks like there's a hill is because as we're going to, we're going to show there's a tele telescopic camera that's compressing the, um, the front and back direction when you're looking at it. So I'm going to show you how that works, but there's absolutely not a hill. I mean, it's measurably not a hill. You, again, this can be measured as we'll talk about at the end when we look at the um, surveyor's uh, analysis of these flats. And, and this objection number three actually came from some globe people that believed in the globe, and that's you just can't see curvature near sea level. Well, actually you can. I'm getting, you got to use compression though, and you have to use tools. Typically those tools are cameras. So in the case of forward back um, uh, curvature, we need to use a telescopic camera to sort of get a, a, a compressed perspective. And we're gonna look at that here in a minute. Uh, and Metabunk has a great visual we're gonna look at. Now this particular image that I just showed you by Dave Cook and Michelle Pilling was actually taken around 900 feet. So it wasn't right at sea level. As I mentioned, this, is, this was taken by Dave Cook and he took, there's actual video footage here. I wanna play this for you. And uh, please should just watch this because it, it shows you just how much he has to zoom in to be able to see that curvature. So let, let's see how David Cook did it. It's pretty clear. So you can see he's zooming in here. And this is coming from way back. Look, he's continuing to zoom, continuing to zoom. He's really compressing the image in the forward back direction. And in doing so, you can see the curvature very clearly. And that's a real earth curvature. This is not a hill. Again, this whole salt flight is measurably 0.02 grade. So this is the curvature of the earth. Isn't that beautiful? We can see the curvature of mother earth with the aid of certain tools because our eyes are not measuring devices. So we can use a telescopic camera to sort of magnify the effect of the curvature of the earth and we can actually see it. I mean, it's just breathtaking. So just really take that in. Like I mentioned, it's kind of this compressed perspective. And, and Mick at Metabunk did a great little demonstration by putting some pawns on top of a car that had a curb to it. So when you just kind of look at it, um, you know, you, there is some curvature. It's not that subtle, but you know, it's, but when you kind of zoom in on it, it becomes really obvious. And now these are all equal distances across, apart. So again, look up here. So all the ponds are the same distance apart, okay? And so, but when he gets a telescopic camera and he zooms in, it's the zooming effect that you can kind of create this compressed perspective. And this compression allows you to more, it kind of exaggerates the curve. And he did it from the other side with the black ponds, which had even a greater curve. And again, these, are, these ponds are all the same distance apart. And the reason they look a lot closer together here is because of this compressed uh, perspective. But see, just to make, just to show you this not a trick, if you actually put the ponds on a level surface and do the same um, telescopic compression, they appear in a straight line. Okay, so here's the thing that flat earthers also don't get. When you, whether you're doing the the side to side compression with like a level, looking at looking at the horizon and the sea, or if you're doing the front back um, compression. With, uh, with the telescopic camera, what if, it's, if there is curvature, the, the curvature will show. If there's not, it won't. And um, again, one of my favorite demonstrations of this is the link Pontchartrain power lines. And, um, and this also comes from the same effect. You have to get a telescopic camera to really compress the, the distance in the front and back direction to really show you this curvature. Because again, the earth curves so incredibly slowly the human eye won't be able to see it without the aid of a telescopic camera or other tools. And I just want to play you a little video clip here from the Lake Pacha train, just because it just kind of brings it to life more to see in the actual video. Um, as much as I love the Bonneville South Flats, the Lake Pontchartrain probably is my favorite, just because all these towers are the same distance above sea level. Um, 
And so you're getting the true earth curvature. And again, if like, like mixed demonstration with the pond showed, if, if curvature wasn't there, it would just be going off into this vantage point. Like you can see over here, this is what you would see if the earth was flat and we don't see that we see the curvature because the curvature is there and it's not a trick now. Um, it's, you have to use a telescopic camera. And this is one of the things when flat earthers try to debunk this, they sometimes go there or might go there and use wide angle lenses. And they're just not, um, they're, they're not uh, magnifying or zooming in enough. And if you don't zoom in enough, you're not going to see this curvature very, very well. So um, on FloodEarth.ws and some other places, they actually on Metabug, Metabug does a good job of debunking all of Flat Earthers attempted debunks. So um, these, this is real curvature, and every attempt by Flat Earthers to debunk this real curvature gets a debunk. Now, the other type of uh, low elevation curvature that you can see is when you compress from left to right. And there's many examples of this. You can take even images like from flat earthers, uh, like Jay told in media. A lot of times flat earthers debunk themselves when they show these high altitude shots. They don't realize that if you compress the image, you can see the curvature. In one case, I caught dearth actually do having a, a reverse curve. And I, I, I showed, <laughs> showed it in one of my videos. So the one I want to kind of focus on is one by Rory here. I mean, this is what MC Toon put on his uh, website and had a little discussion with Jaren about it even. And, and I like it because he does such a careful job kind of creating the level here. And, and when you really look at this, you can see the straight edges are all level with the horizon. Um, there is a little bit of a slant, but that doesn't matter because, the, and this is something Jaren didn't get, if you have a diagonal line, if you compress it, it's still a straight line. But it's a very, 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 very slight diagonal. So you can kind of see it here, right? But still, the curvature is showing up. This is real Earth curvature. It's just that we can't see it um, side to side at this elevation because, again, the Earth curves so slowly. And so it's very difficult to see curvature. But with the aid of um, telescopic cameras and wide-angle lenses and doing compression like this, we can see the curvature. So these are two ways that can show us Earth curvature, even at low elevations. Now, if, this isn't, if the pictures aren't convincing enough for you, I found two really good videos. I'm going to put a link below because I don't want to include the video in this video. But one of them is by um, Baron Rutledge. And he does a very beautiful job of measuring the curvature of the Earth at the Bonneville Salt Flats. And he does it with very simple geometry that even flat Earthers could follow, believe it or not. It's just a very simple way to show and demonstrate the Earth curvature using just simply the distances between points. Again, even a flat earther can understand this gem. Even if they can't do the numbers and do the math, they can at least look at it and hopefully understand that AC plus BC should be larger than AB. I mean, you'd hope they understand that. Um, and if it's a straight line, then AC plus BC equals AB. Oh, and I just want to mention that Barron kind of used traditional surveying methods with like theodolite and just kind of our traditional surveying. But I want to share with you now another way to do surveying, which is kind of the new trend because it's much easier and much faster. And that's GNSS surveying, which is the Global Navigation Satellite System surveying. And this can give you very, very accurate um, vector distances between the, between the satellites and whatever point you're on Earth. And what you can do is you can set up like a coordinate system where the center of the Earth is, is, the, is the origin. And you can get very specific points. And what Jesse did was he used this type of surveying across the salt flats. That's why I wanted to include this because he's doing it across the Bonneville salt flats. And he collects all the data points. And when you look at it, if this was, in, if the earth was in fact flat, you would get just a straight line. So you could, and the beautiful thing about this video, if you kind of follow through to the end, is that you can see the curvature right from the data points. And he did all these samples along uh, the, that state road 80. And, and, and Walter Bisman has a really nice article on this on his website. I'll put a link below the video for that too. And the thing about this type of surveying is you can get distances that are accurate to five centimeters and just incredible accuracy here. So great confirmation. So if you're not convinced about seeing the images of earth curvature, here's two videos where you can see two different forms of surveying measure the curvature on the, at the Bonneville salt flats. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. And I want to end this video with some a really beautiful nighttime footage. 
from the Bonneville Salt Flats. It was a little music, so I hope you enjoy this. Thanks again, and have a great night. Oh.